just oh, like, wow. and like I'm refreshing, but nothing's changing. YouTube, I weep. Okay, it says I'm live I'm now. Am it yeah. working? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, finally! It said it was live yeah, now earlier. It's working. Now it's working. Yay! Yeah, now it's working. Well, I guess we started again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's and they. Welcome <laughs> to another Clawcast. Ugh. Sorry about the wait. That was... Ugh. Well, I guess we're going to do our introductions again, starting with the lovely the Dawn. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Dawn. I go by he, they. I am a concept artist, um, character designer, and I work with storyboards on Android Wings. They're very good. Eldra? Oh, wait, I'm having some issues. Uh-oh. We'll come back to you then. Uh, wait, I'm hearing like a reverb. Oh, well, we, we don't hear it on the stream. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna talk then. I'm Eldra, I go by she, her. And uh, on the um, Animated Wings project, I work as a character designer and uh, have been recently promoted to the uh, color script artist role. And I basically just help with colors. And they're very good colors. They're yeah. kiss worthy. <laughs> I'm Fizzy, also known as Lauren. I go by she, her pronouns. I am a character designer for animated wings and hopefully one day I can get into compositing and uh, editing once I get a better uh, program. Hi, I'm Kate. I go by she, her. I am a project manager, lead editor, character designer, and animator for Animated Wings. Woo. Casey? Okay, hello. Uh, I am Casey Sketches. Uh, I go by she, her, and I am basic. I basically have a lot of jobs <laughs> in the project. Uh, I am a storyboarder, a prop designer, a artist, a character d designer, a concept designer, and I am also the one very much responsible for creating the look and style for many of the puppets that you have probably seen, and I am also the lead puppet designer, so I'm also in charge of telling other people how I want these puppets to look and be. <laughs> and you're very good at it. You've made some very good puppet yeah. designs. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Well, with that, we were happy to have everyone here, and uh, super excited hello. to talk about animated uh, wings with everyone. Wait, what about Danny? <laughs> oh, Danny! What about Danny? No. Hi, Danny! Oh, welcome! Introduce yourself. Yeah, it's like six in the morning. Hi, I'm Danny, oh. I go by he, him, and I'm an animator for Animated Wings. Uh, that's all. You do some good animations. Thank you. Alright, I'll... Well, that out of the way... Happy to have everyone here, and we very excited. So, any questions from the chat that you want to ask everyone? Also, do anyone have questions for each other here? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dark Stalker Forever Dark Hybrid says, "How is you?" How is everyone? Um, um uh, life in general, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, at present, feeling very sleepy because it's morning, and I hate mornings. <laughs> Time Dude, zone me as well. Yeah. Oh, this is for Casey probably. Uh, Shard Gal Gaming asks, "How do the puppets work?" Ooh, yes, please hit me with any puppet questions. I love answering these. Okay, um, how the puppets work, um, I suppose, through a design sense, is they're all drawn as each individual parts, min individual moving parts, um, kind of like, um, and, and will be animated in sort of like the shadow puppetry style um, from actually the very first um, animated movies that were actually, that were created by... Um, Notable animator Lottie Reniger, and also um, how the they will be animated is um, 
through After Effects, I believe. Um, so like rigging and and parenting and such like that. And yes, and so yeah, they're just basically just a bunch of literal moving parts, separate moving parts. And they look really good in the tests that were posted. Yeah, that was like so cool to watch. Like flipping dream come true. It's like expectations for the future. To add into a little bit about um, how the puppets are animated in After Effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we actually yeah. import the PSD files that we are given, and each individual piece is on its own layer. And what we do is we take the anchor point for rotation and we attach it to where joints would be. So sometimes the anchor point can be like completely off. It just centers on whatever part it is for, uh, for how big the part is. And we adjust the anchor points and we animate from there after doing all that. So it is very similar to how you would rig a puppet in something like Toon Boom. Ooh. Yeah, y'all yeah, uh, yeah, are doing an awesome work. I bet it's uh, like really difficult. Someone asked, what's the most difficult design to animate? Uh, to animate? Hmm. I believe, um, for, um, I think the ones that, like, the character designs that have a lot of detail on them, obviously, are gonna be pretty, um, gonna take a while to animate, like, the soldiers and Burn, for instance, because, like, they got a lot yeah. going on on their designs. I think Tsunami might be pretty hard to animate, too, in Starflight, because of the floating, like, the floating patterns. Yeah. And, and webs, but... What's well, slightly probably probably less be complicated sunny. than Tsunami. Mm -hmm. I love all the seemings chin wrigglies. How's yes. that doing for Chin noodles! The chin noodles yeah. are underrated. I like exactly. the nice chin noodles. It's always funny to see how people like go about trying to animate the chin noodles to go along with like the mouth movements when they're like animating them talking and such. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when uh, some shots are released, we're gonna see some people like recognizing animation styles just based on how the <laughs> chin wrigglies are drawn. It'll be fun though. Uh, Cactus is saying we have a question for Casey. Is the puppet just separate parts or something else? It's they're separate parts. Yeah, they're, um, yeah, like, they're all literally separate parts, like, I often post them, or I've posted them in the project, where, like, you will see one image where they are all grouped together, um, to make the whole dragon, and then you will see a separate image where all the parts are separated from each other. And, uh, in the prologue, y'all, when that releases, y'all will see, like, how they all move about. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wolf Wings of Yeet asked. Uh, 82 years ago, apparently. Uh, do you guys enjoy working on animated wings? Of course. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> it was very fun. Hell yeah. The progress is going very fast at the moment. Still no, like, actual animation for the show started yet, but we're, like, getting close to that point. Yeah, we're not, like, 100% there on the animation stage, but we are getting there. Like, the storyboard stage is almost done, I think, right? Just about. Yeah. But no confirmation there. Yeah. We aren't confirming or denying anything, because we yes. are- The stream isn't actually affiliated with Animated Wings itself. We're just having- we're just a bunch of team people enjo enjoying it. Yeah. Well, I can say, as of not the last update, this past Friday, but the one before it, uh, we did mention that we moved into the animatic phase, meaning that some storyboards are being put in as an animatic, which basically means they are being timed appropriately for animation. Yeah. Uh, Pie Pi asks, any tips on doing animation professionally, or is this not the place to ask? Also, hope you guys are doing well. We're doing well. Hi, Talia! But in the animators here, do y'all have any tips for everyone? Um, just 
my biggest tip is just to be very open with feedback. Like when you're making animations and stuff, please get a second pair of eyes to to see like so like a lot of times when you're animating you're you're kind of animating this one thing for a very long time and sooner or later you got you kind of get tunnel vision so it is i believe it is very important to avoid that um is by getting a second pair of eyes to see like hey maybe is this character jumping or not or and if they are maybe you should do this so it rings clearer and such like that so that's one of my biggest advices just get feedback. Be open to feedback. That's really good. Also, yeah. I, I'm not an animator for it, but learning the 12 principles and like arcs and volume is very good. Like if you can like, oh, yeah. manage to move a 2D character in like a 3D way, it, it will be good. I think too, it's really important to just enjoy what you're doing with it. Because mm -hmm. you'll improve your own way. Mm -hmm. You gotta like that stuff. Uh, Mystrix asked, How has being an animated wing helped you improve with art, etc.? For me, it's helped me improve with my anatomy and get rid of shoulder wings. <laughs> and. Uh, shoulder wings. Apparently, the oh, wings are on the back, not directly on the shoulders. Joy Aang got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, very head. wrong in a huge anatomical sense. <laughs> yeah. For me, it helped, like, a lot with uh, both colors and anatomy. Uh, I still struggle with back legs because they're awful and uh, I can't get them right every time I draw them. But uh, I think I've improved also in uh, uh, shape language because yeah. I had, uh, like, a problem with same face syndrome before. <laughs> same. I would say it helped me understand a lot more about uh, just how much goes into designing a character and how much you have to convey from something that's already written out, like, you know, Wings of Fire. How do you convey that into a design and how you capture their character, you know, in subtle little ways? Yeah, like- I'd say- Yeah. Oh. You can go. Oh, okay. Um, I'd say for me, um, this project has helped a tremendous amount when, um, like, improving my art, like, definitely with my draftsmanship skills, like, I've gotten much better at, like, um, putting ideas down on paper much faster than I would have before, and it definitely improved a lot when it comes to, like, making, like, expression artwork and also compositional work. And definitely, like, with designing um, characters as well, it's helped me a lot in, like, figuring out, like, simplification is the absolute key to make a strong design. Like, the, adding this one thing may look cool, but in an animation sense, that one thing is gonna, gonna real, really mess you up. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to kill the animators. <laughs> no! We love the animators. Whoever it was that said face shapes, because, oh yeah. yeah face shapes are a big thing to, mm -hmm. to have learned from this. Like, uh, the breakdowns and the red lines when you're like mm -hmm. turning in a sketch. I'm like, oh man, that is such a good tip to keep in mind for other people. It's so fun. Yeah. Design. Like, the face shapes and, like, body shape has improved a lot from learning from animated wings, I gotta say. I've learned a lot, and now I can actually make silhouettes that all don't look the same. Yeah. Who's your guys' favorite shape? Oh, my favorite shape? I really do like how big Maros here is looking. Yes, the yeah. shapes really are, like, so today. good. Yeah. yeah, my favorite like, shapes are, like, definitely triangles because they're just so so fun to draw <laughs> i'm also liking the blister concepts that have been coming around yeah like everyone has like different shapes for her so far and it's like oh good stuff i think kestrel's my favorite her face is so fun to look at yeah she looks so grumpy all the time and i love it <laughs> exactly i'm also excited to see what dune looks like all the concepts of him are really yeah. nice 
He looks yeah, like I really a want soft to see how potato, but also would crush me with a single claw. Reminds me of how, like, a grizzly bear is. Like, oh, they look like they could be good to snuggle with, but we'll murder you. Doing my beloved. <laughs> After I finish this little peril concept, would anyone else want to stream their art? I can. I'm working on Dune concepts right now. Ooh, yeah, it's Dune, uh, Dune. K art. What is K it? Art? Yeah. yeah, Underbite. Are there any Blaze concepts or finished Blaze designs? They like Blaze. Actually, there is some Blaze concept art. Uh. Let me see if I can find it in the Discord and I can post it on the stream. Because there are some, like, good Blades concepts that the team did. Because we had, like, a big Blades like, thing one day. I think I did one, but it's really old. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did one too. Also kind of old too. <laughs> yeah. But they're all so good. At least... Uh, uh, what? What? Team likes posting like, concept art, and I love it. But I gotta scroll. I never get tired of looking at what people make for the concept art, cause like the the concept art are like always like so groundbreaking. Like everyone always thinks of something that like instantly fixes another fixes an issue with this one character's design or something that we previously didn't know part. So like always so good to get yeah. another person's point of view. I'll show the concept art I did real quick, cause. Uh, and also, uh, Crows and Kohanas. I just gotta figure out how to add images quickly. OBS, my low. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just see if I can, like, video capture? Kind of. Alright, let's do... Window capture. Will that work? There we go. Here's the the blaze concept designs that we'll work on a bit. This one's made by Crow. They got inspired by a uh, bearded vulture, which is really cool. And here's mine. I based it off Crow's, my previous one. And here's Kohana's, which was really cool. Kohana has really good colors, I gotta say. They're very nice. But did it- did it not show? It showed for like a second, then it went back to your drawing. That yeah. That is very weird. OBS. <laughs> well, I guess you get a split second of seeing it. I am sorry. OBS is like, yeah, no. <sighs> you can put it as a media attachment. Yes. I can't you download the image, and then... Maybe? Uh, maybe. Uh, save image. Save. Uh. You can oh, just... and it's not letting me save right now. That is weird. It keeps making that... Woo! Noise. Like the error. Well, I'm just gonna have to check my computer later, because this is... Huh. Well, congratulations to anyone who had fast eyes and saw yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I need to get a I'm new computer this, fix. Yeah. I need to fix my computer one day. The fan inside the fan it still doesn't even work. Who's your favorite third arc character? I've only fully read arc one. I did not care for the other two, but I do like how... I did read the only, for arc three only the latest book. And I do like how Snowfall improved. Snowfall. My favorite arc three, eight hundred percent, Jerboa. I oh, love Jerboa her. was pretty good. Oh yeah, Jerboa was really good. Jerboa, yeah. Jerboa, to be honest, spoilers, I... but, spoilers, but specifically Jerboa three. The original Jerboa can die in a hole. Uh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't read, like, most of that book, aside from the first few chapters, and then I skipped just to the Jubo part. <laughs> Valid. So. Understandable. 
Oh, Proud of Snowfall, though. She became not racist in the end. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Did he hear there was like at uh, one point too? We was thinking uh, it past uh, ice wing queens would have their heads mounted. Mounted. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that um, in like a Zoom interview she did, or uh, for school athletes, she did mention that. And it's like, huh? But she said it would be too gory, so it would have ended by the time of Queen Glacier. Also, more spoilers this morning. Queen Glacier is great. I love her. Oh, yeah. I didn't think much of her before, but then that thing with, uh, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> And I, uh, I started to tear up. This is too much. She was a good mom. Yeah. yeah. I wish you got to know more oh, about her. Same. Yeah. Who's the legend going to be about? Is there another one in the making? Or did I just make that up? Uh, I, I heard somewhere that there might be another Legends book. But I am not a... To, uh, confident source. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody else here too? Pardon? Did anybody get to Dragon Slayer too? Oh uh, nah. I I'm not Dragon a big Slayer human too? fan. Oh no, I did not read it. I read it. Me. Hey. So I read all the books and like. Yeah, I've discussion. read all the books too. So yeah. <laughs> I have the book. I haven't read it yet though. Ah. Uh. I do like the cover though. Like in the background, you can see all the mountain dragon, dragon heads and things cool. burn stronghold. That's gonna be some good inspo for the her design, her the stronghold mm -hmm. design. If we ever get to that point. All right. Anyone else ready to stream? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Right. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Just stream on Discord and I'll get y'all on. Whose donkeys are barking? <laughs> no, I believe it was Dawn. Dawn? Alright. I shall... Oh wait, okay, here we go. Alright, watch your stream. Yeah. Hey, Kate, what's the... Uh... Reasoning for sketching in red. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> reasoning for sketching in red, like red lines. Okay, oh. so I do the base sketches in black, and whenever I go back over them to like refine them, I've been doing it in red a lot lately. Oh, and for some reason, it sticks out better for my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I've been sense. doing that too. Lolly, I've sort of like I like to term it as like I'm giving myself red lines or something because like. No, it's a weird technique, but it is effective when I, I don't know, something about the color red just makes things more clear. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching art streams, and they were like, yeah, we gotta stretch it, uh, sketch in neon colors, because it makes you work, like, looser. And I was like, that's genius. Yeah. Oh my goodness, work. I want to just share. Let me share. <laughs> Discord. Okay, there we go. And now we're now we're watching Kate. Woo! So Sorry I see you're drawing that. your favorite boy. I love my you. baby boy. My sweet boy. I'm literally all for the the old soldier look so much. Yeah. Yeah. Also like. He's gonna actually put up a fight. It's so interesting watching how everybody puts together a sketch. Yeah. Like, everyone does it in such a different way, but it's still good. Yeah. yeah. Especially when we're all yeah. going in a similar style. Someone asks, is this Clay? No, it's Dune. Clay already has a design. Clay already has an official design, I believe. Is that a hole in his- Hmm? 
Yeah, it looks like right. it, I love the idea of him having a hole in his trail. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a hole in his sail. Yeah. The man. I'm so sad. Like yeah. all the guardians died in the first book. Cause like, till we really said, let's just go into bloodbath. Really? Yeah, I we had more of Asha. She would have been like so sweet. Oh yeah. Oh man, that just reminds me of like how much like like um we we basically just breathe a personality into hip Hiviter and it's gonna be pretty hard <laughs> to see him go. I know, right? Also like yeah. that y'all added personalities to the guard. I love them. Mm-hmm. They're very Fun. They're just like very charming. <laughs> did we give them name? yes, names? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah. We gave the, the soldiers' name. I think okay. it's Elon. So, oh, this... hmm? Yeah, the, the the big the the older looking one with the broken horn. I believe that's Gila, and the smaller yellow light yellow looking one is um hair. But man, poor Haviter or Viter. You never know if we're saying his name right. Yeah, I, I keep remembering I like it's not. Way we're going with you don't it pronounce like, the H. It's like Viter. Viter cutting out the H. Yeah. But as far as I know, uh, the original pronunciation, like from Icelandic, is like Kviter. So you add a K sound just before you say it. Uh, Kviter. Huh. If I remember right, too, we was like, yeah, the ice rings that we threw away really quick, we just gave them the names we didn't care for the most. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Playing favorites, I see. <laughs> I would like to see some more, like, unique ice wing names. The amount of ice rings with snow under name is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know what I think we got lucked out on? What? The mud wings. We need. A... I love mud wings. Oh, the mud wings are just so good. Please bring more <laughs> attention to them, Kui. Interesting, them. like big system. I am hoping, though, like, I can imagine, like, Scarlet's Arena to be also, like, a baseball stadium thing, like, on the outside there's food stands and stuff. We could, like, add some multiple, like, background characters. Oh man, crowd shots. We could add so many mud wings and, like, we could even add Gila and Hare somewhere in the background. Watching mm -hmm. the death. Maybe we could make them, like, uh fly to Scarlet's arena with uh, Burn. Ooh, like, yeah. they, they escort her. It'd be interesting maybe adding, like, an extra Scar or two onto them, because that would be years later. Yeah! Definitely well, go yeah. and, like, date them. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> or it could be really sad and it's just hair less. No! <laughs> or we could have Gila! And not the other. Because <laughs> there's so much that, like, Burn, I don't, I hate Burn with a passion, especially how she treated Six Claws and stuff, too. She is a creep. I do adore Six Claws, though. He, he's a good guy. Also, but I don't get why his parents named him after a deformity. That's like, what the hell? Yeah. Six Claws is a great character, but it's just like an example of a character that's really good, but just has a really bad name. Yeah. Yeah. That happens Wasn't a lot. Wasn't a character book. called like Sandstorm or something? Like General Sandstorm, uh, I think. Maybe. I don't recall <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> just, just you want that name. Dune and Sandstorm, that's a cool you want cool balance, right? That would be cool. 
Also, like, also another reason I absolutely hate Burn. He just really just messed up Doom's life. Just to prove a point. Mm hmm. Like, bruh. Doesn't he have a kid? Uh, who? Six Calls does, yeah. Ostrich, is it? Yeah, named think, after his yeah, mother. Yeah, Ostrich after his mother. Oh. I think his wife's yeah. name is Kendall. Yeah, I, I want to know more about her. She seems cool. Uh, she was a she medic, medic during when Dune was injured. Yeah, and I was like, oh, but she seems cool. I love her. Like, we don't get to see too many medic perspectives. I think we had her slightly, and also, yeah. uh, what was it? Mayfly or something? Cranefly? I think Mayfly is it, yeah. Mayfly, the, like the, the mud wing doctor in Possibility? What? Yeah. Speaking of yes. queens, um. Yes, oh. queen. <laughs> <laughs> Oral. Oh, yeah. I liked her up first, but then she was just like such a pushover and also. Also, like, I think, was it Turtle's book or something? Yeah, Where we learned maybe. that poor, poor Albalone didn't deserve death. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude stood his ground. He couldn't help that he got sick. I think book two is one of my favorites, though. Oh, yeah, I love to see. But, oh, I yeah, really want to know what Coral's reaction I would be. I like twice. To like knowing tsunami killed Gil. Like she yeah. doesn't know that. I'm like, I mean, she imprisoned her daughter for literally no reason other than I'll keep you safe. So yeah, probably would kill her. Well, she could also be like, it's either him or I. Kill Scarlet was the reason. She was about to destroy her when she said it. Not completely out of the yeah. question. Also, speaking of Scarlet, you remember how she killed like all the other Skywing eggs that were supposed to hatch on the brightest night? But one was missing besides the one that got crushed by Burn? I wonder whatever happened to uh -huh. that one. Oh, yeah. Because technically, there's still a Skywing DoD somewhere out there. Was there a reason that we had like, an Ice Wing? Uh, DOD? Or it was uh, too warm? I think it was because Tui thought it was too much. Because yeah. I remember reading something originally where she said that she actually wanted to have both Peril and, like, her brother yeah. be DOD. Mm -hmm. But realized, like, that would be what a was lot. it, eight POVs would be just way too much. Oh. So I think Makes she just said it. Uh, her brother's name races. would have been... Ember? I yeah, believe. Ember. Yeah. Instead of, yeah. That's so... interesting. A few years ago, when I made my friend, we had this concept for if Peril had a, a younger brother, and we called him Ember, oh. and his whole story revolved around him trying to find Peril. And then, um... Was it, was it in Dragon Slayer? Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was so fun to read back and be like, didn't we have a character? Oh, you're giving him little toe colors. I love it. I just saw that, too. Only on his back feet. Hmm. I'm trying to keep his design, like, fairly simple. So that I like safe. it, though. Because he has a lot oh, going God. on. Poor guy. But I love him. I like the cataracts in his eyes. Definitely helps give him a more weathered look. Mm hmm. Also, adds a nice contrast because you don't see many sea wings. I mean, sand wings with blue eyes. Yeah. I love yeah, like how they're like. Oh. I Sorry, continue. Wings. I love the Wings of Fire books, but I'm like, the amount of, like, plot holes and stuff that 
I hope we can maybe add like little fixes to them in animated wings. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of plot holes. On the bright side, like when, because of those plot holes, it like leaves plenty of room for like fans and other readers to just like fill in those holes with like yeah. maybe something that's like a lot more interesting to spice up the story. But some like her like that winglet where they've made Deathbringer super older, too much older yeah. than he was. That and she still yet to fix that. So that glory Deathbringer ship is very mm, not good. In my eyes, at the least. But it's like... I love the books, but I'm like, wondering how she'll fix some of the plot holes. Also, like, animus magic. Man, I am loving this Dune. Dune boy. Dune buggy. Oh. Someone asked... Oh, Fox How Daily asks, uh... How long have you guys been working on this awesome project? I've been on this project since November, uh, but it's been going on a bit lot, quite a bit longer than since I joined. What's it ooh, like? Ooh, me. <laughs> okay, um, I literally have been on this project since the very beginning. Old, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like seriously, like my birthday is coming up next week, and like I start, I joined this like I think in 2019, so like uh, just almost about two years I've been on this project. So nice. Yeah. I I've been accepted in uh, April I think, but I've joined. Uh, I've been in the server since uh, last summer, so it's like summer of 2020 I think. Yeah. Man, I'm so happy you got on the team too. I'm loving absolutely everyone's work. Ooh, I love that one. Kate, I love your colors for Dune. It's just so good. Dune, my beloved. <laughs> my sweet boy. I'm so. I kind of want to do a design for Asha, even though you don't see her ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Mudwings really get the... Short end of the stick? Yeah! I would really love a mud. Yeah. I really want another Mudwing story. It's just like... Come on, you can't just show us um, this this type of like dragon that, um, for like at the very beginning and never use them ever again. And also, mm -hmm. like the story is like uh, the Mudwing couple that like caused the problem because they didn't have a child. Mhm. Mm like there's so much stuff that we can learn. Like all we know, not even their cat, what their castles like. All we know is like the fourth area near the delta. Okay, that's clip stupid of me, right? That is what it says on the thing. I yeah. Read. I'm gonna zoom in. What do you recommend for sketching? Because I've never found a good one that I stick with. Me? Me? Yeah. Uh, I cannot read it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, I could take a screenshot of it and send it, but like. It is all in, I'm going to assume, complete Japanese. It's uh, just one of the, um, I think it's supposed to be like an HB brush. Okay. But that's the one I've been using for sketching. Oh, I downloaded nice. it off the clip asset. Man, I want to try Clip Studio Paint one day. It's just, I'm not, I only use iPad and there's a subscription version only for iPad and like, yeah, I don't want to pay extra every month. I bought the full version, and it's okay, but, like, I already have- I, I, I don't, and I got it just to, like, dabble with it, because, like, everyone was talking about it, and the deal's really great. But, like, to be honest, it's- I, I already have, like, a boatload of other so softwares that I use, so, like, not really one of my main softwares that I reuse. Mm. Oh, someone asked a question, what animation programs do we use? 
in the project would we use? Yeah. I think everyone can use like different ones as long as it can do the job. Yeah, everyone mostly um everyone yeah, what you said, um uses whatever they have available. But um for the large majority, um we either use Toon Boom or T V paint. I use T V paint. Uh Casey taught one of uh, the other people in the server who's actually at Epcot today having fun, couldn't make it today. Uh, about Calipeg, and that's what I use yes. now. That's what I used for yes. the glory sticker for the most part. For the yes, Discord. like Calipeg is like the best anim iPad animation. Like you, you're never going back to Rough Animator after you use Calipeg. Yeah. So oh, I wish serious? I, I yeah. wish I can customize the brushes better in Calipeg. Like I import the brush mm -hmm. things, but it just keeps it like a square. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fizzy, I saw that you were making it, but I was like, wow. But I also heard from some people that it was like a downgraded Good Studio paint, so I never really bothered to try it. It's pretty good for- I like it, but you could also tween in, in it too, which is really cool. It's just mostly more efficient. That That's- um, like, it lowers your workload tremendously um, compared to like what Rough Animator does, when, where you like you have to do extra better. work just to do this simple thing. You could color way better too, because rough yeah. animator is like really weird with coloring sometimes. It like on the coloring layer, it won't show you all the areas you miss. Mhm. Mm hey, Dune is looking so good. Thank you. He's such a good so, bean. I love his underbite too. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is Ruffy so looks so tired. <laughs> He's exhausted. He's ready to take a nap. Guardians are all tired. Taking care of the future the new dragons it's like when no one's talking at dinner because the food is so good yeah. Mind. <laughs> I just love the big hole in his frill too. It just adds a lot. Yeah. Really unique. Definitely unique because like you don't see any other designs of of that of them having holes in their frills. Yeah. So that's like, that was like a very good addition. What was one of the puppets like? Uh, the Sandwing Warrior puppet that had really cool looking frill too. Yeah, I, I really love that design. I'm not sure if that was based off of Sammy's original design, or Kate put that in herself, because I know you refined it, but that was just so good. Oh, I just went with whatever was there. Oh, okay, so I guess Sammy was the one that put that there, then. <laughs> Ew, we got a home up. we got a transphobe in the chat, and block. No! Kick! 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 Go away! <laughs> <laughs> also, fear. Uh, animated Wings wasn't cancelled. The sister production, Paper Drake, was cancelled. Yes, it's, that production was cancelled. We've got a question from Sun Skyling. Oh. It's um, fizzy. We used to stream. Other people's screens? Uh, we're just using Discord. Discord. Kate's streaming in the Discord and I'm just screen capturing the Discord page. Does anyone want to stream next, by the way? I can take a crack at it. Okay. Alright, sweet. I'm just I'll loving everyone in just a second. So good. Cool. Since we talked about Blaze before, I finished uh, a drawing of her. <laughs> I 
I made her I made her blonde because no. I mean <laughs> why not? <laughs> oh, one thing I love though is how the voice actors they play the character so well, but they're like also the nicest people. It's like Yeah. Person playing Burn. Great voice, perfect for Burn, but also just super sweet, and it's like, uh, kinda wanna, like, uh, what was that Disney used to do, like, the bloopers and stuff? Be fun, like, watching Burn yeah, and his Vitor, Vitor, get along, outside, drinking a coffee. Yeah. I mean, we still have the holiday pick that we did. Yeah. I love that. That was a fun, oh, that was a Can fun you thing to do. Shut up already! The blue thing's over. Leave me alone. I hope we do another holiday-themed activity together oh, soon because that, be that one was really fun. That was so fun. I hope so too. It was just so cool to do a Halloween one. Dress up, everyone. It's Tune. They're in the chat. Tube. We love you, Tune. Yes, we love you. Do you have any tips on drawing front views? Uh, um, okay, I got a tip. When you're drawing the front view for long-faced characters, instead of going straight front view, start off, um, make it easy for yourself. Start off with, like, um, a head tilt, like the character is tilting downward. So, like, first off, you get your brain used to it, um... To what you're trying to draw it's a, also a good exercise and then um and then move on and or then use that as a reference to guide you into making a more accurate front view but yeah look um that's what i've learned in this project when it comes to drawing um snap long faced characters start with a downward view and then move on to a front view to use that as a reference all right my dudes right, well, are done yeah Look at him! He's so pretty. He's so cool. Does he have no inner ear color? Uh, no, I didn't add one, but if there is one, it's just like the eye mask color. Oh. Uh, I noticed some characters don't have it in design, so I'm just going with that. Cool. Okay. Yeah, maybe if he doesn't have it, it's better cool. because his design is already like a little uh, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kohana and uh, Avozorus is in the chat too. Ooh. I think Avozorus is going to be joining us soon. I think they were the ones that said they were going to join a bit later. Okay, let me set this up. See if this works. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let me know if everything is is good. I love it. I love all the expressions. Yee. Okay. Cool. You can see. Okay. Um. So yeah, I thought this would be a good opportunity to like give these um expressions a massive redraw because like I said before, I've been with this project for a very long time, and I created these sketches literally as um Burn was still being developed. Like we had a big um a good look for her, but we um she's like you see here, she used to have like a stripe running down her neck and such like that, and like also this was before I got really um i really started getting better at expressions or something this one's still my favorite because it's very clear but these other ones are just if so yeah this is what i'm going to fix um desperately who tune might be joining us Ooh. if tune joins i gotta i'm just gonna link her youtube though if i can if discord lets me YouTube. Also going to be using these burn head, 3D burn heads that I got for like reference and such. So like oh, right there, because I really love playing with these a lot. Oops. Hello. Hey. You. Hi. It's Tune. Welcome, welcome. 
Man, the stream's just not loading for me. No! When you're yeah, ready, it's right. stuck on, yeah, on the you. screen just went loading. Also, oh. if you want me, I can switch it to Casey now, if you want. Oh, you can switch. You didn't switch? Oh, um, Died for a second. Um, Died for a second. Oh, that's weird. Uh, died? No! It Wait, died for on? a second! Alright, Elf, I'm going to fix it. Discord. Okay. I, I love that computers go wacky. So wacky. Oh, I I might have to turn my mic off. Oh. Like, randomly. It, it's because uh, people are gonna, like, come into my room. Uh. Um, yeah, I've been doing that on and off to sneeze. So. Oh, Alex. Yeah, I've also been turning it off so I don't mess up anyone when they're talking. The stream isn't loading yet, huh? No. Like, I can see the preview of it, but it won't load. Yeah. Wait. Oh, wait. So you guys can't see me working, or? I, I can. I, I see that you're streaming, and if I, like, hover over it, I can see, like, the preview of it, but... Oh, there it goes! I can see it. Okay, you guys can see me. There we go. Got you fixed up. Also, can you hit me up with a link to whatever, whatever social you want? Uh... Connected? Yeah, uh... Wait. I, I believe I shared my socials in the introduction, so, like, yeah. you can, like, um, share my Instagram and my Twitter. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh. There we go. I can't look at Discord apparently on the screen. Oops. Or else the people just see that. Oh dear. Uh. I, I screwed things up. I'll fix it real quick. Time. I'll just wait. I'm just waiting. I got nothing. I'm waiting. <laughs> Streaming is always a challenge. That's why, like, I'm like slowly trying to teach myself how to do it, and like also be brave at doing it and such like that. But a lot of times, yeah, this is one of the things that like always scares me away from from doing it more consistently. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm okay, not I got it. Woo. Back into the last mode. stream I did was um when we did the, the Q&A for Animated Wings, and um, I just let Kate handle all the technical aspects of that. I sat back and watched. <laughs> yeah. Kate did amazing with it, though. Kate has a big brain. I just remember one person in that stream, though, kept demanding y'all do it the animation faster, and it was like, dude, dude, dude no. Oh, seriously? That's so not cool. Just like, oh. Do it yourself and see how fast you are. <laughs> yeah. I think it's that easy. What are you talking about? I can animate a dragon in 10 seconds. Oh, gosh. The, like the designs down, that are even doable. shown anyway, <laughs> that are made, are like fairly complicated even for being animation friendly. Like Starflight's wings, it may only have like seven or eight dots, but still, those mm -hmm. are going to be a pain. Yeah, so, like, okay, well... Now that everyone's seeing, I'm redrawing these very old expressions that I created at the beginning of the project when Burns' um, design was still just being established. And you can already see there's like so many errors here. Like if I were to take this now to Sammy, like she'd redline this to, to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy would perform public execution. Oh, yeah. No. 
I remember the design where Burn didn't even have ears. Yeah, she didn't have ears in the very beginning. And that was like, um, I think the idea for that was because, um, because Burn was like so big into collecting weird things, um, that like maybe we, we kind of had canon that like perhaps that weirdness comes because like maybe she has some very small ears or something that like she hides behind her horns or whatever but we but Sam sambi ended up nixing that when she joined the project and it was definitely for the best because like that that doesn't work because like then we won't be able to have um very good emoting which yeah. ears help a ton with that so that's what we need i felt like the biggest control freak when um we were working on the dragonettes because i'm i'm like watching things go down and i was like i was like y'all do what you want with the other four. Glory, I remember there was a time where like, oh, like she's kind of snake-like. Well, maybe rain wings have no ears. And I was like, no, you yeah. have to give her ears or I will go out of my mind. I mm -hmm. remember the no ear. I felt like, like the worst control freak. I felt terrible for doing it, but I was like, she needs ears. Don't, don't do this to my girl. She looked they, very um... off without the ears compared to all the other dragonettes. So I'm happy she yeah. didn't give an ears. Like for, just for like basic like, continuity or something like give well, her ears and now she has the adorable little yellow ears and yeah, it's like yeah, such a little them. thing but it makes me so it's like it's just a, it's very cute i love the little yellow ears oh, it finally loaded oh legend studio i'm not drawing right now this is tasty if you look at the bottom of the stream it says who you're watching Oh, Toon, yep. are you- are you in now? Oh, wait. Oh, muted gives the green thing, too. Oh. What? Is she muted? Did- did someone silence her? No! I think oh, no! Herself. Oh. This was supposed to make her look like- like she's, like, so tired, or, like, she's done with, like, her soldiers. Hmm. Bullshit or something like I'm surrounded by idiots kind of thing I, I was going for. With that scar quote on my bag. Oh yeah. It's really and interesting get... though that like Burn is also fairly smart, but not as smart as Blister, of course, but like she is very sadistic though. I remember hearing that one legends book, she would like cut off the legs of jackrabbits and let them flail around. Yeah. That is, like, the definition of sadistic. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. Oh. I know drag rabbits are not the friendliest rabbits. Apparently they'll They're chase not? after you sometimes. But, really? Yeah, yeah. My boyfriend had to deal with them in, for a bit when he was in Texas. And they would chase him. They'd just charge. What harm could a jackrabbit do? They're little rabbit things. Well, technically, that's not true. They are pretty big. That, uh, so, yeah. I think they're a type of hare and not a rabbit, but they're, they're evil. Evil. Well, they have the but evil still, eyes. they don't so. deserve their legs cut off. Yeah, nothing deserves that. Yeah, maybe except Burn. Burn deserves mm. that. Burn, schadenfreude, burn. It's super early in the morning for me. I think I'm gonna go back to sleep now. But it was oh, nice good. talking to you guys. It was nice having you. Yeah. Get some good sleep. Totally. Get, get some Z's. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good night. Uh, Bye. Bye. It's in the morning. Or wait, morning? I don't morning. know. <laughs> uh, it's gotta love time gotta love zones. Time. Yeah, I hate time zones. They're like the worst. Like, I want to talk to my people, but half of the time I need to sleep or they need to sleep. Yeah. I have friends in New Zealand, so it's like basically when they wake up, I'm a, like an hour or two from going to bed. It's like, yeah. The solution is to delete sleep. Delete sleep, yeah. <laughs> or hear me yeah, out. Yeah, like. We just all, everyone in the world moves to one place. That, that, that will work. <laughs> Man, these burn updates you're doing with the expressions look so good. Thank you. I've been needing to do these for a while. 
because like I've gotten much better at drawing the official burn design and also just like those red lines that Sammy keeps helping us with really do um really just help a lot because like yeah, like Sammy's I've so seen like her folio and stuff and like I can never get enough of her dragon art like she just always she just knows what needs to be fixed and such like like that how people do wings in animated wings is like amazing i still struggle with wings and it's like it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't show in your work like seriously okay i still struggle a lot with the wings though like slowly but surely um like i want to a lot of the artwork that i make is just head busts and expressions but like i see a lot of people i'm seeing people like making the um try and make dynamic poses and stuff and like for one thing i need more dynamic poses in my portfolio and another thing it looks like fun and i want to do it but like anytime i try like halfway in i either spend too long on it or i get burned out because like it's always the wings that throw me yeah wait did you do the one uh i'm not sure i don't think it was released publicly yet or was it the webs didn't you do that one yes i was the one that did the spinning webs that one has not been posted as of yet so like maybe get that time but yeah, yeah like that one, I, um, the wings gave me a real challenge with that, trying to make it um, look the way I wanted though. it to look. Yeah, thank you. I was I'm excited like... for that to go post publicly. Y'all better, mm -hmm. everyone watching the stream, better be excited for when that comes out during an update day, which is every Friday. Friday. Keep an eye yes, on the animated Friday. wings thing linked in the description on their link tree. They post it like everywhere. Everywhere. Best way to look at it though is Discord, I say. Because you get notified if you get the update ping. Mm hmm. Yeah. Man, I'm so happy I got on the team though. I love working with y'all and y'all really helped me improve my dragon. I've learned to make way smaller eyes. I look back at my old art and I was like, oh my gosh, the eyes are ginormous. Yeah. This Oh well, yeah. <laughs> my my older dragons didn't even have horns. Or if they did, they they were really, really small and they looked like horses. They were horrible. <laughs> well, you've improved a lot, Eldrin, like the past year. It's amazing. Yeah, I think it's because of quarantine or something. Yeah, or because I, this was my first year at art school, so I hopefully learned something. Well, I'm very excited to see what else you do, because like I remember a few, a few weeks ago, maybe last month, you shared uh, your Peril and Scarlet redraw. That was so good. Oh, yeah. Like, the lighting on yeah. that was oh, awesome. Wait. Yeah, that was, like, so kick-ass. Like, we saw, you showed us, like, what this was my, a year ago or something like that to what you did with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. It was just, like, mind-blowing. Like, the effects you put in, the detailing is just, like... Thank you. Really thank you, thank you. So beautifully. Uh, it's all about lightning and, and color theory because I really got into that stuff and learned a lot. <laughs> Color oh, theory, so my good. beloved. Giving her this crown thing. I love doing this technique. I don't know why. Sammy taught it to me, and now it's fun. Oop, I got pinged. Hey, you posted the concept art. I love it. Doom time. Ooh, someone said Eldra appreciation, and I agree. I love the whole team. Yes. We gotta appreciate it. I still want to do something for, like, the active team members, and, like, draw all their characters and, like, simplify the animated wing style so we could, like, add them in the background. Mm-hmm. Because it would be really fun to add, uh, add everyone's, like, OCs and characters in it. Yeah. Yeah, that will be amazing. Really, really wanted to design an OC, like an, a Wings of Fire OC, and also just a regular Dragon OC, but like haven't gotten the time yet. But I really want to because, like, it will be like really cool to do it for the release of the first episode. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 
I'm kind of hoping maybe I could put my character Redtail in the background. She's a Sky Mud hybrid, which makes sense because Sky Wings and Mud Wings are together. Mm hmm. And apparently there's quite a few uh, uh, hybrids that were mentioned, like Sand, Sky, Muds. I've actually got a question for you, Fizzy. Like, um, what made you want to um, try this out? Because, like, I watched the example video you sent us of the first claw cast you did, and I thought that was, like, so cool. That was, like, like, um, like, what led, what led to this? I don't know. It just felt like it would be good to, like, just talk with people, draw, and just do things related to the Wings of Fire community, since it is growing fast. Yeah, true. she just, like, came to, like, ping someone, or, like, I don't remember where, and said, hey, I've got this idea, and I was yeah. like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> like, I'm hoping to do it maybe, like, once every other week, so we have time to plan stuff, but y'all yeah. are free to come back, because I've still got to figure out what we can do for the next one in maybe two weeks. Because I don't want to, like, maybe weekly would be, like, too much, I feel, to plan, but every other week might be just some little thing, get together... We could also do other things besides drawing and maybe, like, just talk about Wings of Fire while playing some games. I bet yeah. you know, it's going to become a podcast. Phasmophobia, yeah. Clawcast. We talk about the horrific moments in animated wings as we get scared by ghosts. Someone asked if we hate Peacemaker. Uh, I hate Peacemaker. Get him out of here. He shouldn't exist. I'm Don't just recycle like, a dragon. Just pick a, another one. I feel like I it was a, more no for. I feel it. like it was more for hope than anything. I kind of still wish Darkstalker got what he deserved and died. But I guess it was yeah. more of like for hope to get a restart because she deserved better. Well, at least you could be. Yeah. At least you can be comforted in like the the confirmation that Tui said. Like if if um wait oh yeah if um Peacemaker was ever given Kibley's earring one of his earrings or something that he would die because yeah, like he would turn to dust he would get Thanos. Oh, that also reminds me another weird thing. Uh, I remember like Clear Sight. I loved Clear Sight, but then she went to a new continent and just apparently had like a billion husbands. Oh it yes, I did so not out of like that at all. There. It just seems so out not, of character. Exactly, that felt very out of character. And she legit just to colonize them, like, ah, let's change the language so it'll be easier for our people if we ever come here. Plot device. Ugh. Desperately fixing this neck because I don't know what was wrong with me at the time, but this neck looks severely broken. I think it was because I thought it was a chest or something, but... That's not right. Snap. Oh wait, someone also asked, what's one character from any arc that we wish died and another one that we wish survived? My goodness, these are such grim questions. <laughs> for me, I would <laughs> want for me I would want Kestrel to survive because like with Peril and Sky becoming a thing, I just want to know what she would have done knowing that the kids. I want lived. some closure with that, definitely. <gasps> Like, I, know I feel obligated to say Dune should have lived. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You know, Kate is in the chat. But it's like, for Kestrel, I thought she died way too early. Because I know she was awful, but she also had some sense of caring for the dragonets, since why she went to them when, and got murked. But a character I wish died? I'm gonna say. Yeah. Webs. I don't like Webs. Thank you. Oh my god, I hate him! Why is everyone yeah, obsessed like, with him? Um, I just... Oh, well, he left his son and his wife ripped <laughs> I don't poor know. Riptide. He deserves so much better. He, he could have turned yes. evil, to be honest, with how yes. everyone treated him. So I'm very, like, I know a lot of people don't like Riptide and Tsunami, but I'm okay with him because I feel like Riptide has a good heart. I want to know more about him, though. I think they're... yeah. I feel like, like he I, will I actually let Tsunami, you know, he's supportive, not like a jerk. Yeah. But yeah, screw webs. Yeah. 
Yeah, also, he was so annoying, like, in the third book, because he was like, oh, no, I, I, I'm hurting, I, I have this injury, shut up. <laughs> well, it would be fatal if he didn't get any help, but... Out of well, all yeah, the, yeah. But out of all the but things, just, Guardian, he was the one that lived? Like, come on, at least give us Asha. Yeah. 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 Or Vitor, he was like the youngest, so he had more to live. Yeah. I do like that he becomes a history teacher later on. I find that kind of adorable. He gets to... But still, it's just like... I know he saved Tsunami, but... I just... The fact he left his kid and wife behind. Mm-hmm. What are y'all's thoughts on Stone Mover? I don't uh, care for him. More of him. I think. Yeah. I was like, I, I find it very weird. The Night Kingdom is like, yeah. Instead of yeah. just en saying, enchanting the island to be fixed and fix our queen who has this injury, which he could have done, they're like, yeah, make tunnels. And the fact that he turned himself to stone instead of a. Uh, just saying no more animus magic. I feel like there's a lot of plot holes with him. I'd like to develop him more, see more development from him. Because right now he just feels like Eeyore, kind of sad. That's not- yeah. I, I, I think the plot hole thing is not stone mover exclusive. It's just with the animus thing in general. Oh yeah, it is. There are no rules, but there are, it's and animus it's all and nonsense. Magic needs, yeah, it's a mess. But I, I would like to see more development from him, because all I get right now is just sad vibe hours. Because I would love to see a winglet of him and Thorn meeting in the mouth. There goes Sesame. Sesame! Sesame! Sesame <laughs> gonna get yoinked. Casey, these are looking so good. Thank you. Never get tired of drawing this lady. It's actually very interesting. Like, I think in, um, the only character I haven't drawn that we've designed yet that I really want to draw is, um, Glory. Because, like, I just love her design. It is so pretty. But I don't know why, but I haven't drawn it. But the, it's actually very funny. The per <laughs> which, it makes sense. But the character I keep seeing drawn the most is, of course, Sunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I need to, I don't think I've really drawn Sunny yet. I need to draw Sunny, Clay... Burn, Kestrel. I haven't drawn a lot of the characters. I do want to draw Maros here, though. I love how big. Yeah, and I want to draw him too. Yeah, oh, same. You know, he looks so good, and, and I especially love those um expressions that Kate drew for him because they were just like so yeah. good. And that animation for the casting call, so good. That too. Oh, Slender's in the chat. I'm gonna type hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm still bitter Discord is doing like the Ah yes, we're going to make it so you can change uh, your profile picture for each server instead of just all of it instead of adding captions It's like, please hmm. Also, I just love the difference of these burns like, you can see the improvement. Mm-hmm. And this one expression is is done, and just see, look. Damn, you, like, see a huge, like, just huge glow up. She got thicker and scary. Thicker and scary and also more well-defined! Yeah. Like, I, I love her design, and I love the voice actor for her. But it's just like, I hate the character. Yeah. Damn well, it. she's a good I... character, but I hate her. Like, well written to hate. Kind of like reminds me of Whirlpool. Well written, but you all hate him with all your heart. Yeah. One year ago, two. Now. Someone's asking our favorite character design so far. I really like Tsunami and Glory, but Tsunami has a close to my heart because I helped design her. I was on the Tsunami team. Yeah. 
Glory for sure. Glory with Glory. I like Glory because she's Glory my favorite character. Oh, Glory. <laughs> yeah. I've drawn like half of my profile on Instagram is just fan art of Glory. <laughs> I'm also liking the, all the concept arts for Peril. I love the fact that everyone wants a lot of people want to give her blue fire just to make her stand out. You also, must have blue fire! There yes. is no co contest. It must be. But it also matches with her eyes better, I feel, because they're like, they always talk about how her blue, fire blue eyes are very strange and different. It's like, it makes it just like, hey, draw some more colors. I, I so wish that, like, some of these dragons had way more uh, colors. Like, sea wings with some, like, yellows and oranges, sky wings with some blue, because it's I find it so weird to call them sky wings, uh, but they're all like red and orange and yellow. Mm hmm. Like, ah, yes, sky wings, even though they're basically just fire dragons. Yeah, sky wings, they're just the generic western dragon that we all know. That, like, I do, come I on, do like, like their, uh, Learning about their culture, they're fairly developed. I don't care about the ableism though, and just throwing babies off the cliff. But it yeah. is very interesting to like learn about them because like they're how they deal with their dead. Yeah. And hoping with uh, Queen Ruby, they will stop throwing babies off cliffs. Yes, hopefully, because that is just no. They kind of remind me of the Spartans in a way. Yeah, very much so. Especially with like the, the dragon arena. So yeah. yeah, and the eugenics. Ew. I still hope we get more mud wings one day though. Mud wing, mud wing, must have more. I love the design. Of the mud wings for animated wings, they just look so soft and round. But they also got their their nose. A lot of people keep not drawing them with. Yeah, in my opinion, the mud wing characters are definitely probably the trickiest and hardest to design because like we keep running into that obstacle of same face syndrome, and for good reason. It's mostly just because of the noses. Yeah. Well, Sammy did some really good concept of them. Yeah. They she they did really good one and and like um, um um she did a very good job at adding variety but like I definitely love the most recent one she did I'm not sure if we can say who but but yeah. I just love um oh what yeah Anna did for that character it was just like yeah. yes I, this is what I imagine this character to look like now I do want to say I would love to see a mudwing like maybe cattail with like a if we do design her for like. I think we're just doing book one right now is just the goal, but it'd yeah. be fun just to give her like a kind of like a flat, longer crocodile snout. Because but I feel but like Cattail, would... I think she is in the first book actually. Yeah, she is. But I'm like, like at the end, when it. when Clay goes to find her. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like would like to give her like a longer, flatter snout, kind of like a crocodile, because I feel like she would like have crocodile tears, just kind of like yeah, yeah mm -hmm. slithery. I don't I don't like her. Bad mom. She sold her baby for two cows. Cows! Oh god, that was so. That is always gonna be like one of the most hard um, scenes for me because, like, I thought that was actually written really well. Where like it was mentioned how like it takes a lot to make a dragon cry, but like Clay is about to ball, and that, that was just like, no, oh, please, someone protect this yeah. boy. Oh, if we manage to do more than one book, can we fix Clay? A bit instead of him just being always loving food because they just write him off as like haha food yeah i don't book. like that part where like he's that character who all they ever talk about is just how hungry they are and food and such like that and no literally nothing else it's like he's a good guy he wants to it's protect a good guy. there's more to him than food he kind of reminds me of like uh were you the one that was doing the animation tests with the lego movie thing Kind of reminds uh, me of that guy. Yeah. Like, with the, uh, this kind of sweet, not the brightest, but very sweet. Mm-hmm. Very much so. I 
I do like how in book two, though, when, like, they just refuse to leave Clay because, like, ah, sea wings suck and, like, chained him down. He's just staying strong yeah. for them. Like, aww. Oh, someone asked about the dragon bite vipers. They're, eh. I would like more information on them. Like, size and everything. Also, I find it weird they're, like, on both continents. So, like, any, like, differences between them? Mm-hmm. Ooh, someone asked a good question. Will the cast rewrite some parts? Uh, small parts, I feel. Like, there's talks of actually giving... Letting Dune ha put up a fight against Scarlet because ableism killed him and he deserves better. Yeah, definitely just, like, make that more interesting than what we were given because that was just not acceptable. Like, a guy who, like, fought wars did amazingly well in them, too, because he was, like, always right behind Six Claws in, like, rank. Yeah. Put, put down by a Skywing smaller than Kestrel with a single hand yes! just seems so stupid. Yeah, uh, Scarlet won, fought 11 daughters and stuff in one. It's like, she doesn't know how to kill a big buff sandling. Like, her hand wouldn't even fit around his neck. She tried to break... His neck with a single claw. It, it, it would just be... It should just fail. Yeah. That just didn't look right at all. Especially, like, the way it was drawn out in the um, graphic novel or something. Like, she just snapped him in two with one arm. Barely any effort. Yeah. Someone Needs asked to be if anyone in the claw cast met Tui before. New? Nope. nope. I want to, though. I really want to go to one of, like, her book signings or something, but, like, Same. anytime I hear about it, it's already happened. She seems very nice. I like that she named Sunny after her. She is dog. very nice. She always looks very nice. Like, whenever I watch, like, interviews of her um, for, like, Scholastic or something, she just, she always seems like a sweetheart. And also the fact she loves the fans and, like, their AUs and stuff. Like, was it in the latest book she, like, uh, shouted out one of the DeviantArt RP, like, Pyria Pantala. Yeah. It's like, that's sweet. She just likes the fans, too. Yeah. It's like, get some love for the fans, something like that. Also, the fact that one time uh, there was that bidding thing and the hybrid got added into the book. One of the yeah, characters. I thought that was so cool. Typhoon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was cool. Someone asked, said, well, hope they I don't think I'll out. have to go now. Oh, bye. 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 It was fun. Bye. Bye. Always fun. Someone said we, they hope uh, we don't cut out Arctic's death. I don't think we'll be getting to that book. I think, if anything, if possible, maybe Arc 1. But I, we're still not even sure if we'll get to book 2 yet. Main goal right now is just getting Arc 1. Uh, book one done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just the main goal. Anything else, there's, just like... Yeah, it's just all goals. Yeah. Goal. If we do get to book two, though, I'm so excited for, like, the aquatic language. Like, it'd be so cool yeah. after, like, adding sign language and diver signs to it, and maybe Morse code with some scales. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are looking so good. Thanks. I think um I'll finish this up and then um someone else can start streaming. All right, Don. What do you want to yeah. do it next? Oh wait, we lost <laughs> Kate too. No, did I take did I take their time away? No. Oh. Uh, just I think they had to leave. So just us three for now, and I think Azazors is gonna come join us later. And oh, okay. Tune left, but I don't think she was able to talk much anyway. But we love you, Tune. If you're still watching the stream, we love everyone who's on it. You're all awesome. Very awesome. Someone asked if we would make Arctic's death more brutal than it is now or less. Well, if we were uh... to animate it less, it'd probably, like, we won't show everything because it is YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube gets the last say. Yeah, and I think um, a lot of us agreed we would, like, censor a lot of the gore that would happen, yeah. or make it yeah. less brutal. Mm-hmm. 
But, like, we wouldn't cut any of the things out because... Like, we won't, like, say, ah, Arctic died. Arctic, Off screen. Yeah. Was by. Like, I like how they did Scar's death in The Lion King with the silhouette. Yeah. Mm hmm. Someone asked if we know about the other animated project, Twisted Lies. Not really. I just keep seeing the per uh, people advertise it in the servers I'm in. Not super That's interested what I, in it right I, now. Because I'm only focused yeah. on reflections and animated wings right now. Hmm. Blender Dragon, someone said. Yeah. I love the 3D head models. They're so yeah, Whoever came up with the models. idea of doing that, super smart. Yeah. It's it's so fun. It's like it's a really great way to like get um 3D people involved as well, more attention, broaden our audience, something like that. And also it's just a huge help because like horns from different angles are so hard. Yeah. Like a uh, a tsunami piece before, like which was jumping an Angie. I used to yeah. have a model for that, and that helped a ton. Mm -hmm. People keep talking about Arctic's death, and it's like, we're not going to get there, probably, to be honest. Uh, so we're not sure right now, but it won't be shown in its full glory because of YouTube. But someone also has a question for yep. KC. What's your yes, most hit me. What's your most hated character in all of Wings of Fire? Ah... Uh... To be honest, I don't really carry an opinion for what characters I hate. Um, but um, I guess for a literary certain point, which is kind of a compliment or something, the character I'm not a huge fan of, but also kind of like, um, because he was written kind of well or something, in my opinion, is Chameleon. Oh, yeah. like, he was just He was just very, like slimy and such but yeah. in a very good kind of bad guy what kind of way oh wait i do there is one character i do absolutely loathe and it is whirlpool whirlpool sucks He's, yeah he okay so yeah i take back what i said yeah whirlpool i do not like at all slimy man Ugh. slimy uh it was like i did not like that whole um like he, like um coral wanted um either one of her daughters to betroth to him and i'm like no! I find it weird he didn't go after Coral after Gil was confirmed dead. Because if Coral uh -huh. liked him that much, I'm sure she would have moved on to him, but I just, I hate him. Yeah, I was like, I felt very uncomfortable with, like, how how much, she, like, she was praising him and, like, and he's the best or something like that. I'm like, yeah, no. I can't, one character I hate, I really don't like Deathbringer. He's overrated. Yeah. Very overrated. He can die and I wouldn't care. I do like, uh... Fierce Teeth, though. She's interesting. I like her and her himbo stone move. I mean, not stone mover, uh... Strong Wings. There's so many... Strong Wings. I like that yeah, one. Find... Yeah, I, I find her... The dichotomy between her and her brother, Starfight, Starflight, like, how, like, they're so different from each other to be very, very interesting, and, um, certainly something that could, should be explored more, because, yeah. like, you, you Starflight, and, like, she's, and, and her, Fierce Teeth, like, they're just, like, the complete opposite and such. I love opposites, I always do, they, there's always so much interesting things you can do with that. Yeah. Also, I want to know more about Starflight and Fierce Teeth's mom. Apparently, yes! she's super sweet. I was like, oh, and she died for a sea wing. So I keep hearing some like ideas that Fierce Teeth was like part sea wing because she's very blue. Yeah. So it's like, oh, she seemed so nice. I would love to hear more about her. Mm hmm. Tree Dragon asked why there's buggos flying around the bottom of the screen. It's supposed to be like embers, but yeah. I gotta fix it and see if I can turn on an additive layer somehow. 
Because it's supposed to be like kind of cave paintings lit up by a fire, but yeah. I gotta, I gotta mm -hmm. do some work. Yeah. <laughs> There's a question for Dawn Cat. Out of all the Wings of Fire tribes, which anatomy or concept design would you say is the best? This is a bit of a hard question for me. Uh, I kind of like a lot of the designs. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess, probably some bias for me, I do like some of the Sea Wings mm -hmm. concepts. And also like Green Wings as well. Um, they are pretty cool. Uh, Sir War was a lot. I I did the background for the stream. I've been I like some of the Mudwing concepts too. Like I I know there was an older one Sammy did, but I just loved that. Like the old Grandma Mudwing. Oh yeah, I remember that. That that was so good. Definitely want to see it as like a background character. I could just oh it was just so good. Wow, we've been doing this for an hour and thirty five minutes. I think we'll end around two o'clock, because that would be the two hour mark. But I'm having fun so far with y'all. Yeah, same here. Uh, you are absolute genius in wanting to do this. Same here. Oh, thanks for all for joining. Hopefully in like two weeks we'll have an, a, a new idea thing if y'all wanna just join again. I would love that very much. It would be fun to have like different weeks for the tribes too. Mm-hmm. Talk about all the tribes and what we want to see from them more in depth. I'm gonna take this one. I'm going to attack. Bay joined the chat and she said dragons are dumb. I'll fight her. She's a good bean though. Cool. I am love I am living for these burn expressions. They look so good. You've improved a ton. Thanks. I'm like so glad that like it shows like I know it's it can be very patronizing whenever everyone asks like how to get better at art and such and and like but and yeah but um keep your old art even if it's cringy later or something you need a record to show your improvement because it's just it's very gratifying. Yeah. I'm so sad an app I used used to use a lot uh, shut down its server, so I can't get a lot of my old art. No! And it's like, no! <laughs> Five years worth of digital art where I started digital art in the first place is gone. <laughs> oh god, most of most of my artwork, like, you can you can find in, like, um, Divine Art, because, like, that's where I started, and that's where, like, mo a lot of people started in their oh, journey. Yeah. So, yeah. Man, I hate but the Eclipse like, update they did. I hate that so much. It's one of the reasons why I hardly ever hang out there anymore. Like, Same. and it's also, but like, the only reason like I haven't like completely killed my um account is um one for nostalgia reasons because like I see the date and it says I I've been there since like 2005. So like, wow. that's pretty cool yeah. to have a record. And also because I have still have friends on there that I like to talk to and they don't go on any other websites. So that's that's that. <laughs> I just can't use it on my iPad. I use it on like Google Chrome on my iPad, and it's so glitchy. It's awful. Yeah, it is glitchy. What the hell? And it's been glitchy for like two years now. I believe yes. I all I know is that things got like much harder and stuff. It's a dumb eclipse thing. I think Wix bought it, and that that's the reason why they updated. So. Screw you, Wix. That could be that. I wouldn't be surprised if that if that was the case. Because they're like running on Wix servers now, and it's like, no. Oh, another thing that I'm really happy about learning in, in this, um, while being in this project, is how to draw teeth better. Oh, yeah. Because, like, you, how the... you see, like, 
Yeah, like, you see how I used to draw teeth before, I, like, I went too overboard, and also looks to hear that her jaw is kind of broken or something, so, like, eee, must fix, must fix. Also, with how the bottom canine is actually in front of the top canine. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy, I, I, the chat's gonna actually kill my friend. <laughs> oh no. Be gentle. Here? No. Eh, I'm gonna change this expression because I like that. It's so weird seeing Burn smile, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of going for like the de deranged smile. Oh, uh, I thought that was really cool. Um, that one, um, those um burn expressions that Nate did, where like yeah. he was drawing from like yeah, it's just that one thing. Um, that one uh storyboard he did where like she's like crazy smiling. <laughs> yeah, that was like so good. Like he got that so well. Like she's just insane. Man, Nate's stuff is so good. He helped me a lot with, like, everything from Etsy to taxes to the glory sticker that was just released Friday. Yeah, Nate, he's awesome. He's just, he's just very awesome. I'm very Asian. happy he's one of the senior artists now. Yeah, definitely deserves it. Mm-hmm. Like, he does senior. backgrounds, the lip sync things. He does a lot. Yeah. Always brings a 100% A game. Mm -hmm. I get, I'm happy I get to help him with uh, his background test. I get to draw Kestrel and webs in it. I still gotta do that. <laughs> but yeah. that uh, that's like one of the one of the list of jobs that I really want to add to my thing is like backgrounds. In the very far future, I definitely want to try out for backgrounds. But at the moment, yes. I don't have any good background um, examples to show. But, like, I definitely want to help out with I that. I feel ya. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a background lead for my friend uh, Sneaky's uh, thing. Because I can... Mm. But I still need to improve a lot more before Animated Wings. Because this is uh, for her series. Uh, it's just PMV stuff and it's just very simple overall. With hard, hard lines. But I know Animated Wings is doing, like, a kind of... Jungle Book type style, I think, and Lion King. Something along those lines. We're still like very in. Um, we're still we're getting somewhere with what we want the backgrounds to look like. But yeah. Yeah. But they're getting there. They are getting there. I'm excited to see what Eldra do does too. Now that she's on the background area with uh, the yeah. colors. I love looking at those color scripts so much. Yeah, they're so fun. Never get tired of looking at them. They're just like so cool. But then again, like I, I just like I love color scripts. Period. I always look looking at like professional looking ones and such. They always look so pretty. Yeah, and it's like how much emotion they can express with just colors. It's great. Uh -huh. Oh, some people are talking about the official animated news show. I'm actually excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. I'm very curious to see what is going to happen there. As far as I know, it's going to be CG. At least that's what it said in the um, storyboard character job thing that was posted. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm okay with if they manage to do it well. I can imagine a like, Beastars type style. That would be kind of cool. At best, I do think it was a good idea because, like, that because, like, I know a lot of fans get um, mad because, like, we we greatly had to minimize certain character designs, most notably the sea wings. So, yeah. in a CG sense, that, that is the best, better approach to go because, like, they're aquatic and such. For, yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're language and such. Yeah. 
But I am excited to see it. I feel bad that some people are keep like crapping on it. It's like, no, no, I want to see how it turns out. Tui's working on it, and they seem to be trying really hard on making it good. Yeah, like, I, I always keep an open mind. Like, I don't, um, sell, like, okay. Uh, it's very funny, someone did point this out to me, which I didn't realize until someone pointed it out, that, like, I am annoyed by, like, the reboot culture we are stuck in currently. Oh, yeah. But then this one person said, says a person who's working on, like, um, on... Uh, a reboot or something for Wings of Fire or or War Cats, and I'm like, oh crap, you're so right. How is it I never knew that or realized that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but who am I to say that when like I, I am part of that? But uh, do fan projects really count? I don't feel like they count. But yeah. then again, that was a very good point. <laughs> but hey, it's the first time it's actually going to be seen on TV. Also, I gotta say, I find it really crazy. Warrior Cats still doesn't have, like, a TV show or anything yet. Like, officially. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it's been a while. Like, it's way older than Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire is about to be ten years old in next year, I think? Yeah, I, I believe, remember. like, like, it came out, like, literally when I was, like, finishing middle school, going on to high school, so... Same. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm ex I'm excited. I'm hosting a map for its 10 years anniversary. While trying to. We, we still need yeah, backups and stuff. Oh. I gotta work on my part. Oops. <laughs> but Does we have like really giving people a whole year to work on it, so that's that's fun. Mhm. Mm we actually got someone from the team. Uh, Sneaky. She works in the music area. She's gonna make a Ooh. custom soundtrack for the credits, which is gonna be fun. One of my most favorite parts about drawing these designs is the ears. I don't know why, I just love drawing their ears. It's always fun. Yeah, then they're so expressive. Mm hmm. Oh, one thing I'm also excited about is just seeing more fan tribes in all wings. Like, I like the OCs, yeah. and I just like seeing things. Also, I know a lot of people hate all wings, but I like seeing some of the designs that come out of it, and, like, let people have fun. Yeah, like, all wings are, are always very interesting, and, like, yeah, let people have fun with, with the concepts and stuff. Damn it, wrong layer. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be fun to host, like, a map based off of all wings. Yeah, that would be very interesting to... to I, I definitely would love to see that. Same. How people would incorporate that into the thing. Maybe after the uh, creep map Sal and I are doing, uh, we can try that. Because uh, the creep map is Wings of Fire based. But it's like, you know, those edgy 2009 videos of Warrior Cats? And Wings of Fire yeah. never got that phase. So basically, that's that map. The edgy... Uh time but it's also more it's not a spoof fully because we do want people to put quality in so it's like a good beginner's map we're excited yeah. for that Ooh, i like how you draw the horns with the spiral thing that's smart mm-hmm it's like yeah i always do this now thanks to sammy because it's, it's just really cool yeah. and very actually very helpful Sammy is so like, talented I'm... and helpful. I'm so happy yeah, I can yeah. subscribe to her Patreon now. Yeah, I really want to go to her Patreon too. It's like, and like, um, I really, really want to like check out her story, um, Dracum Nebula. Yes. It is, it looks so cool. And I love the Archie posts and such, but I never, but I don't really know where to find it. It's on so... DeviantArt still, I think. Uh, some of the page updates is on like a website. Yeah. I can link yeah. it to you after this. Ooh, that would be really cool. I would definitely love to, like, to, to read it and such, because, like, I tried looking for it on my own. Like, I thought maybe she posted it on Webtoon or something like that, because that's actually mostly where I read my stories, but nope, couldn't find it anywhere. I know only, like, the first chapter is out, and she's uh, currently, like, working on the second one. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Casey, do you have a Patreon? 
Nope. Let me know if you ever bake one. I love I love your art and stuff and love to see what you do. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, I really want to like, um, yeah, I really want to take my my art work to like the next level and such like with maybe possible commissions or Patreon. But like the thing is like, I'm not very good at like monetizing myself. And also a lot of the times like, I don't really have, um, I don't have like a, an, a, an art style that like people would see and they automatically know it's me or something like say for the, the dragon puppets, that's about as much as I can offer, but like definitely like I'm, huge growth period and definitely something I want I am considering to do in the future just a lot of things I want to do <laughs> well if you want if you do one in the future let me know I'm, I want to subscribe to it I will noted definitely noted <laughs> this angry lady is almost done it's so good and we're at about 10 minutes until the end of the stream so that should be good timing oh. actually Ooh, cool. But thanks again for everyone coming. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, I can't see who's is, who's still here. I uh, can't see. It seems to be Dawn, you and I. Oh. Oh, wow. Everyone cleared out quickly. Oh, man. Yeah. But they were busy and it was nice having them around when they lasted. That makes sense. And yeah. it has almost been two hours already, surprisingly. Really? Two hours? Yeah, we started I don't at know 12. What... I don't even- I don't know what time it is anymore, cause like, it's 12 for you, it's like, almost 11 for me, it's 10.50 oh, yeah. or something. So like, I was like, so worried, um, that I would oversleep and- and miss, um, your guys' stream or something. So like, I- I'd like, wake up like, almost every 10 seconds just looking at my Discord, like, um, just to make sure that like- Oh, I feel you. Is the everything alarm started yet? Anxiety? Yeah. Oh. It's like, like, I would- oh, um, I mean, because like I turned off um, the sound and notifications on my phone and such, because like I'm I'm part of so many servers and if it kept it on, I'd go insane. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, this is so cool. I I am very much enjoying this, and I re I agree with everybody how like it's weird how streaming makes you more productive. It does. Like I do commissions on stream sometimes, and it's just like I can pop them out way faster. So it's another reason why I love I want to do more claw cast stuff because it's just fun talking to people, but also draw, just get things done. Yeah, get things. Yeah, and it definitely helps a lot. Like with um, I guess if you have strange fright or something like that. Like I did have that a little bit, but like I'm easing myself into the streaming thing, and it's like so much fun. And it also helps a lot that I like I'm streaming. There's like such awesome and sweet people like you watching and talking and such like that. It's just is very very comforting. The chat is very nice, too. They're, yeah. They're very good beans for the most part. Except that transphobe we had earlier who refused to respect pronouns. Ooh. Yeah, Which that they was said is like, I'll, I won't respect fake pronouns. This is like, bye. Yeah. Not cool. You got <sighs> not, not nice things to say, then get the hell out. One thing I can com confirm for sure. Animated wings taste trans rights and gay rights. Human rights. Mm hmm. Man, two hours just fly by real quick. Yeah, that's that's weird. How like you just you put a pen or stylus tablet to the tablet or whatever, and then a whole hour or so goes by. It's just, in, it's fun, and but weird at the same time. How to time travel into the future. Draw. Time travel! Back to the future! Such like that. Oh, I missed the Back to the Future movies. They were fun. Yeah, they were always fun. Uh, my favorite will always be, like, the last one. Mostly because I just, I love Western um, films, like the Cowboy and such. Oh, I still need to watch the last one. Oh. Watch it. It's fun. I, I will. I will soon. I'm also, everyone should watch Black Widow. We, uh, one of our friends worked on it. Oh, yeah. I still have not watched that yet. Um, but I, I'm waiting for, like, pre um, for the premiere accessing to go away because I don't like the pain oh, yeah. thing. It's dumb. But 
but yeah, it's definitely it's one of those things I do want to watch from like from what I've seen so far with like sneak peeks or something. It's very interesting, and also like um what, what everything else that Disney's been doing with Marvel has it just been very interesting. So, yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see more from it. All right, we have about mm-hmm. five minutes left. Does anyone have any final questions for us? I'm actually well. I'm done with this lady now. For oh, no. for now, I'll touch her up more later and get to these other expressions. But they're very great. Thanks for sharing them with us on the screen. Yeah. See, just ugly from this to that, which is new and better. Ty, uh, eight pie said, "Remember to hydrate, or else you dehydrate." Wise words. <gasps> I guess that's one point, or good point there, but <laughs> I'll go and I'm going to end my stream. How does this oh. work? Well, I guess that will be it, And but thank you all for coming. It was it was a fun. And if y'all want to join us again for the next episode in about two weeks, feel free to come back. It was fun. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming in and, and watching us um, doodle and, and have fun and... and... Talk about how much we just we're just we killing it with this wings. project. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to Animated Wings and join the Discord. Bye y'all. Yeah. Bye.